Homeland Security. Norman! 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 Watch daytime TV. Yeah. Soap operas. Yeah. I watch all my children. I'm going to marry Erica. <laughs> Everybody else has. <laughs> one of my favorite things in daytime TV are the game shows. And one of my favorite game shows is one where people have to get dressed up in funny costumes to try to win prizes. I often wonder what would happen if those people had to play with their own money. <laughs> We're all going to find out right now. Because we're all going to play the hottest new game show in town. Let's burn Huddy! Come on. It's time to play America's favorite fireside game, Let's Burn a Deal, or Name That Flame. The show where smoke gets in your eyes as you watch your money go down in flames. And now, here's the man all America is carrying a torch for, America's favorite hook and ladder man, Bert Sparks. <laughs> Please, let's stop. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Burn a Deal, the game where you watch money go up in smoke. My name is Bert Sparks. <laughs> I'd like to show up to a blazing start. Is there anybody in the audience with a hundred dollar bet? <laughs> is there anybody in the audience with a fifty dollar bet? <laughs> is there anybody in the audience? <laughs> good, good, good. You, sir. Do you have a bill on you? Of course you do. Reach down your pocket, take out the smallest bill you have, a one dollar bill or a five dollar bill. It'll be just perfect what you got. A one, fine, hold it high above your head so the people in the back can see. In fact, so the people in the very back can see. Stand up right where you are, stand right up. In fact, uh, so the people over there can see. Could you move a little bit this way? Um, could you stand on that first step right there? Next step. One more. And while you're there, why don't you come right up here on stage? Thank you for volunteering, sir. What is your name? Dick. Dick. Okay, Dick, come over here. Stand right over here. Right on the trap door over there. Good. Now, <laughs> Dick, I saw you had uh, some more money on you. Take out the rest of your money. Take it out, take it out. Oh, in that pocket there, Dick. There you go. Hold on to this. That's a $1 bill. I think if we do this with a $20 bill, it would be 20 times more interesting. <laughs> Dick, take this 20 read the last three numbers of the serial number out loud. 06D. A little bit louder. 06D. Don't overact. <laughs> Take this pen, sign your name right across the bill. Put D, ick, right across the bill. <laughs> this is how I can identify Dick's $20 bill, if we ever see it. 
When we see it again. Dick, have you cited it across the bill? He has. Hold it up so everybody can see that Dick has committed a federal offense. <laughs> but we'll go on, just like nothing happened. Dick, we're gonna fold your bill in half, in half again, in half. One more time, we're gonna stick it in a Let's Burn a Deal envelope. <laughs> we're gonna put it right inside, just like this, and we're going to seal up the envelope. <laughs> Dick, we on Burn a Deal don't just have one, no, we do not. We have two other Let's Burn a Deal envelopes. These two other Let's Burn a Deal envelopes contain blank pieces of paper. If I hold them up for late, can you see their silhouette inside? Yeah. Yes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up all the envelopes, Dick, and you're gonna have to tell me which one contains. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's here right now. I'm gonna mix them up very fast, so watch very closely. Here it is, here we go. Which one contains your bill? Very good. Very good. Which one contains your bill? Very fast, very fast. Oh my gosh, it's Bo Derek. Out the back of the theater, there she goes, Bo Derek. Out the back of the theater. You don't like Bo Derek. <laughs> Nick, which envelope contains your bill? Point to one of them, so just point to one of them. Wouldn't even ask you to guess. Turn and do. We're gonna make it a lot easier on you, Dick. We're going to number the envelopes. We're gonna number them so you can tell one envelope from the other. By doing this, we'll make it a lot easier on you. <laughs> We're gonna number them in French. hostess with our Let's Burn a Deal sacrificial tray. Carol? This lovely sacrificial tray is silver aluminum. Its simple design is a copy from early sacrificial trays used by the Aborigines of Australia. It retails for $10.99 and it comes from silversmiths of Beverly Hills. We still have three left. Uh, duh, you were holding out a number? Three. Three. Do you want to change your mind? Stick with the one you have. What would you like to do? I'll stick with Stick it. with that one. File. Now comes the part of the show where we find out whether Dick has a sense of humor or not. <laughs> As you watch it go up and smoke, I'd like the entire audience to say the Hawaiian magic words. Aloha. Aloha. Very good. We still have two envelopes left. Duh, you were holding out a number? Three. Three. Do you want to change your mind? Stick with the one you have. What would you like to do? Amen. You stick with that one? Yeah. Go out and laugh, it's your money. Here we go. <laughs> As you watch a call the smoke, Dick, I want you to imagine, wouldn't it be amazing if the envelope that you were holding in your hands contained the bill that you brought up here in the beginning of the show? Wouldn't it be amazing? Yeah, it would be amazing. It would be amazing, you're right. <laughs> oh, there is something inside. You're gonna love it. I'd like you to take out the contents right now. Spread it out. Take it out. Open it out, spread it out. Make sure they can all see. That $20 bill is safe and sound inside the envelope. This is the most incredible thing you've ever seen in your life. $20, safe and sound, spread it out. Open it up, make sure they can all see. $20, safe and sound. Thank you very much. You know, I've never felt so much love in one room before. There's no 20. I think an error has crept in. We would not send you home empty-handed, Dick. No, we would not. <laughs> this is Let's Burn a Deal, not Fantasy Island. <laughs> but we wouldn't send you home empty-handed. We would like to take home with you some of these ashes <laughs> to your bank manager tomorrow. I'm just kidding, Dick. We on Let's Burn a Deal are insured. And we keep our insurance in this lovely leather wallet. <laughs> Beautiful handcrafted black wallet has a gold zipper and feels like fine leather, specially made for money, valuables, and fire insurance policies. The wallet retails at $19.98 and, of course, is made by Buffalo Bills of Phoenix, Arizona. You do that very well, sir. Walk this way. Good. This wallet's got a zipper all around it with little zippets. Yeah. If we unzip those zippets, there should be something very interesting inside, I hope. An envelope, incredible. Is that envelope sealed? Yeah. It's got three red seals. 
chill. <laughs> Do this. Go like this. That's good. Have a fish. <laughs> oh, I'm making a bass out of myself. <laughs> this seals come off. <laughs> John Boy, gone punk. <laughs> If we hold the envelope up to the light, can you see the silhouette of something inside? Yeah. Hey, Ken, I'd like you to take out the contents right now. I hope it looks familiar. It's a bill. It's a $20 bill. Open it up. Read the last three numbers of the serial number out loud. 06D. Is that your signature, sir? Yeah. Well, thank you for playing. Let's burn a deal. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow for Let's Burn a Deal or Name That Claim. Let's Burn a Deal is an IRS production. I'd like to remind you that all the magic you're seeing tonight is exactly as it's being seen here in our studio. David uses absolutely no camera tricks or electronic gimmicks to perform his illusions. So please stay tuned for the best the world of magic has to offer. The magic of David Copperfield. Come on South, come home to the great taste of America with craft. Great tasting southern recipes begin with craft. I make cornbread the old time way in a skillet for a crispy crust. Parquet jumbo spread makes the batter moist and buttery tasting. Top with pepper slices and bake till golden. Fresh oranges give southern flavor to my favorite salad. And craft zesty Italian dressing adds sparkle to the fruit and vegetable marinade. Arrange ingredients on spinach and sprinkle with pecans. I make this Dixie banana cream twice as tasty because I use craft miniature marshmallows two ways. Melt them in vanilla pudding and pour over vanilla wafers and bananas. Brown more marshmallows for a simple meringue-like topping. These craft recipes are in tonight's listing section of TV Guide magazine. Come on south, come home. To the great taste of America with Kraft. Where would you go to taste great American food? Kraft will take you there. Enter the Kraft Great Tastes of America sweepstakes. Vote for your favorite Kraft regional dish. You may win one of six fabulous vacations. Entry forms at participating grocers and in current magazines with valuable Kraft coupons. Taste America's best with Kraft. Enter the Kraft Great Tastes of America sweepstakes. Saturday on Airwolf. This is a hijack. A skyjacked plane is hidden on the ocean floor. Will Hawkins Santini find it in time? Where the devil could it be? And on cover up, a killer stalks a beauty pageant. She's one of those sweet and so young things would be willing to murder for the title. Can Danny and Jack protect the most beautiful woman in the world? Watch out! Saturday. On Saturday. Boy, this here is fun. Enjoying an old farm. <laughs> Far out. With Kim and some puppet babies. Yay! When a magician performs, the audience doesn't just expect to be entertained, they expect miracles. Astonishing mysteries that defy explanation. David has accomplished grand illusions like vanishing a jet airplane and making the Statue of Liberty disappear. But he's also added another dimension to the ancient art of magic by combining music and illusion with stories that deal with very human emotions, he creates a vignette that is not only mystifying, but moving as well. The next story is about a small boy with a big problem. The solution lies in the magic of David Copperfield.
wonderful weather, warm welcomes and West Coast cooking. Come on home to the great taste of America with Kraft. Great tasting West Coast recipes begin with Kraft. For us, casual food's a natural way to go, like this San Diego salad. It's a main dish. Start with light and lively slices, the easy way to add full cheese flavor with half the fat. Arrange on greens with chicken, tomato, and avocado. Top with sprouts and bacon. We like these fruit-filled oatmeal bars for a simple snack. Yeah. All their real fruit taste comes from Kraft strawberry preserves. Layer with a mixture of oatmeal, nuts, and brown sugar. Bake and serve with soothing celestial seasonings herb tea. For new twist and casseroles, I start with salmon in my Pacific Coast bake. It's deliciously different with J.L. Kraft Select Sharp Cheddar Cheese, the fresh and natural cheddar. Layer with a mixture of canned salmon, rice, and vegetables. Bake and top with more cheese. We love this new way to serve fresh fruit. La Creme Whip Topping with Real Cream makes this fruit medley so smooth and delicious. And the recipe's on the lid. Mix with sour cream and fresh fruit, spoon over cantaloupe. These craft recipes are in tonight's listing section of TV Guide magazine and in free recipe folders in many stores. Come out west, come home to the great taste of America with craft. The magic of David Copperfield has been sponsored by Kraft. We're pleased to have sponsored tonight's program and the Kraft Great Tastes of America, featuring Philadelphia brand cream cheese, Velveeta slices pasteurized processed cheese spread, Kraft zesty Italian dressing. For good food and good food ideas, come home to the great tastes of America with Kraft. I'm Ed Hurleyhe. Join us next time we sponsor something special from Kraft. Please help me thank the three very talented and beautiful ladies who share the stage with you. Miss Peggy Fleming, Miss Terry Copeland, and my very special host. Sunday, Jessica's stunned when a fellow author's accused of murder. Well, he happens to be innocent. But is he giving her the runaround? Pat Harrington, Morgan Brittany, Robert Reed, and Paul Sand join Angela Lansbury in Murder, She Wrote. Then... Absolutely not. Forget it. Harry and Harrison can't believe their eyes in a case of international intrigue that could be their last. Crazy like a fox, Sunday. Next week, Judd Hirsch starts his new career. You don't look nothing like a detective. It isn't like Hollywood, you know. No. He's the detective in the house. Oh, this is ridiculous. He's got a new boss. I'm not a pervert. I'm just hot-blooded. And new problems. One of my children was trying to kill me. 
person can only stand so much of a great time. It's an exciting new series. It means I got another paying job. I'm on a roll. Judd Hirsch stars as the detective in the house. Oh, I gotta get shape. Premiering next Friday. Pauline Newman, an immigrant from Lithuania, went to work in New York's Triangle Shirtwaist Factory when she was eight years old. Which one? The one Dad bought me. Um, weren't you playing with it right here the other day? There it is. Yeah, Noah, what is it? You see my portable video game? Which one? The one Dad bought me. Um, weren't you playing with it right here the other day? There it is. <laughs> You're welcome. The last time I played this with Dad, I beat him. I should have let him win. So many. I just had Miguel donate them. The cards are on the desk. I don't want to talk to anyone. Karen called. The police will keep the reporters away from the church. Well, thank you, campaign manager, for that. Um, I don't know which one. Mm. Are you leaving? Thought I'd give you your space. Don't go. You're walking around at 3 a.m. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm just, I, I was trying to figure out what to say at the service. Well, when you come up with something, I could take a look at it for you. You just have words, meaningless words. I don't know what to say. Just say what comes to mind. It doesn't have to be perfect, just real.